Hello and welcome to the Superhero Hub. I'm Sam. I'm Matt. And today we're reviewing The Flash. Yeah. Season four, four. episode one. I lose track. Um The Flash Reborn. Um I kinda knew it was gonna be batty. But like the way he came back, that was whack. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Like, yeah. Like, initially, I don't know why I thought this, but I don't see why they wouldn't do it. Like, right, so basically the Flash is gone, and then this samurai guy turns up and is like, look, I want the Flash here. And then, obviously, they've got to find a way of, like, giving them the Flash, and they can't. So, like, it turns out all this time has passed, obviously. And Cisco's been working on... He's recalibrated the time portal bazooka that they used to deal with Savitar. He refigured that into something. And then the way they're going to replace Barry in the prison is by using... A, a ball which is a mm. qu quantum something you know that old nutshell so they're kind of they're at the race track it's training track from the first episode and like he kind of zaps and then nothing happens and they're all disappointed and then iris turns up and she's got a bee in her bonnet like oh yeah he's gone deal with it and then i guess randomly somewhere in the town or the city on some random street, a big portal opens up, and then out comes Barry, and I guess he's dashing all over the place, and then he runs down a back street and kind of runs into a truck and passes out. I don't want to be that guy, but I wanted it to be John and Martha Kent. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to be John and Martha Kent. Like, I was hoping they were going to do like something like that, like, oh, he was brought in by... You know the Kents, but no such luck. Give uh, up on that dream, bro. Well, I mean, they've done a Flash and Supergirl crossover. Oh wait, it's yeah. different Earths, isn't it? Yeah. So why would? Well, they could just have John and Martha Kent who didn't find Superman. <laughs> well, then who cares? I don't see why they don't. Do, do you think the Flash will ever be like if he goes to Supergirl's Earth? Do you think like? Him and Superman will have a cross paths, or will that be too Justice League? It would probably Bec be too JLA, and they don't, they don't want to undercut Supergirl like that, so they'll just avoid it. Well, because it's interesting, because do you know, like, I guess it was season one, they're going to the time vault and they're talking to Gideon, and Gideon's just about to say he's a founding member of the Justice League, but if Superman's on another Earth, how does that work out? I don't know. Right, so anyway, back to the... There's no Batman room, love, don't worry about it. Well, Oliver Queen made a reference to that, didn't he? Cause it... Oh yeah, and they made a reference in Supergirl as well, but... Whatever. Because I, is I, oh... I would have picked Oracle, I would have given you the name Oracle, but it was already taken. Yeah. So yeah, um... So, <laughs> back, back to, to this bullshit. Back to the battiness. <laughs> so yeah, we kind of, uh no pun intended, is, like, naked, so it's, like, streak applies. Uh, so, yeah, he's kind of at the police station <laughs> and is doing mundane doodles. At one point, I was kind of, again, hoping they were Kryptonian symbols. <laughs> Dude, I was let hoping, it go. I was hoping a lot in this episode. <laughs> it's like, why wouldn't they just do it? I mean, come on. Because they don't want to put Superman on TV. No, but they can put Kryptonian symbols and people would just be like, oh, what's what's this garbage? Yeah, they don't want to do that, do they? Yeah, they're whack. I need to be a writer on the show. <laughs> sure, that'll help. Uh, this show would have been better if the Kents found him <laughs> and there were Kryptonian glyphs. He was. So, this yeah. show would be better if it was Superman, I'll give you that. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and then Barry's in the police precinct and he's talking funny, and I guess his mind's a little jumbled, but no one knows how. And I mean, he, he's clearly... I, what I, 
I don't understand how I can tell what's going on, yet the characters who hang around him all the time can't put the two and two together. He's clearly talking about, like, the future and things he's seen in the Speed Force or whatever. Just think about what he's saying. Like, half the crap he was saying was clearly referencing something that's going to happen eventually. Mm. Well, well, yeah, you could say that because I know he recounts... Well, it's got to be his own history he was viewing. Because it's interesting because they they said, like, oh, the, the point of the Speed Force prison is you're kind of stuck in your worst moment and have to, like, visit it all over again. But he made a reference to something he said to Oliver Queen as well because he goes back and he's like, oh, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready to be that guy, Oliver. And I, I swear, like, he said that, like, just before... No, in the first episode... Like, he's on the rooftop with Oliver and he says something along them lines. So, yeah, I kind of guessed that. So he's kind of going on about weird stuff and then he's doing the whole rhyming shtick and it's like, oh, knock it off. Uh, and then, yeah, they get him back to Star Labs and he's perfectly healthy except there's something wrong with his head. And then... And then he starts dashing about and nearly knocks everyone over and then Caitlin comes in with the frost gun and kind of does it. I kind of liked her and Cisco, their kind of stuff for the episode, that was nice. I don't see why they don't get together. I know they're like friends and stuff like that, but like, why not? I don't know. We've got enough problems with Barry and Iris, let's not add problems to more on top of it. Well, they kind of... Yeah, this episode was batty, but in one sense, it's like they never need to go back to it now. So, yeah, I guess... No, yeah, I mean, that that is kind of the point, isn't it? We had to get through... They were never going to... I've seen some people uh, putting that theory out there that they wasted an opportunity with Wally by bringing Barry back so fast. First of all, I don't no one want to see Wally as Flash. I don't want to sit there and have to watch that. Secondly, they were always going to bring him back quickly. Yeah. We, we talked about this before. For me, as, as bad as Arrow got, it's worst. With the exception of that episode with like Felicity's mum and the bees and all that crap. The worst there ever was with those two episodes that he was dead and we had to deal with all his bloody supporting characters for two episodes. It's awful. So we don't need that with The Flash. And we saw last season, Flashpoint only lasted an episode. Whatever crap was going to go on on this episode it was only going to last one and then he'd come back and it'd all be set off the problem is it's all bullshit mm. like it's complete all that crap we went through at the end of last season the whole thing with mum coming back and walking into the speed force and he can never leave and he's trapped and all that crap it's fixed in a second you know what i would have done because i remember having this thought when i watched the episode um i would have been bold and I wouldn't have brought him back till the mid-season finale. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah, but if the supporting... Ca- if it was just... They can't carry it, and you don't need... That dude can't be the Flash. He's not. Yeah, but, like, if you n- took all the characters out, and it was just Joe, Cisco, <laughs> and Caitlin, but Caitlin oh. wasn't doing her Killer Frost shtick... I think they could carry it because the problem with Arrow, the How? fact the fact they couldn't carry it is because most of the characters are whack. Like John Diggle, don't care. Felicity at that point was kind of annoying. Uh, Black Canary was kind of always kind of you know a Black Canary. So mm-hmm. really, I mean, if you had, there's if you there's had... no way you can't do this show for what six months or whatever it is without your lead. Ten episodes. They, they work. Yeah, that's ten episodes too yeah, many. Yeah, but if all the characters were sick, you wouldn't mind. You'd just be like, "Oh, Barry's gone." It's I like, would mind. I would mind. It's like, see, the I can't. Thing... I can't be doing it. It's like watching Doctor Who without the Doctor. But you can't do it. You might have some cool companions, but I don't want to watch that show without the lead. I don't want to watch this show without Barry. Hmm. I don't know. I would have been maybe, bold. Maybe, maybe if I, I would go with you if Wally was better. There we go. That's what I mean. If, he, if they handled Wally better and he was a better character and I liked him, if all fine. The, if all the characters were better characters and you liked them, you'd just be like, oh, Barry's gone. And then, like, about 
seven or eight episodes in, you'll think to yourself, yeah, this is kind of going at a good pace, but you know Barra's coming back, and then you kind of, they're making you wait for it, so when he does come back, you appreciate him more, and you're like, oh, Barra's back, and it's like, yeah, I didn't mi- I didn't like go crazy missing him, because it gave a chance for everyone else to develop into better characters, so then you never have to do the character development stuff, because it's already sure. done. And may, maybe even this, I can't even remember if he was on the show at that point, but maybe even the same thing for Arrow. If Roy Harper, I thought, could have stepped up and filled the spot for a while, fine. But no, not on that show and not on this show either. Yeah. So they have to bring him back. Mm. I would have been bold though, but I would have done everything different anyway. So yeah, um, so then the samurai guy turns up, and then <laughs> Wall is wearing the flash suit, and he z- zoops in. And then he gets juked in the leg. And what I thought was cool when a samurai guy did that spinny move and then he kind of put the blade through the back of his suit and then kind of lifted him up. I thought that was real cool because I was thinking, oh, is he going to lop his head off or something? But now he just kind of picked him up by the back of the suit with his sword and dangled there. I thought that was sick. So, yeah, now Barry's out. No, now Wally's out of commission. And then Barry's in the cell doing his shtick. And then Iris thinks, oh, here's a good idea. I'm going to offer myself up and then the samurai is going to grab me and then Joe runs to the Joe runs to the cell which apparently is meant to dam, dampen like meta human abilities right but mm-hmm. like it doesn't work for Barry cuz it's like oh Iris is going to die and then Barry's like eyes start flashing it's like what does that mean I mean when a dampener's on and it's like so like amazing now and powerful that like even the dampeners can't stop him cuz like he does it and then he goes straight through the glass and knocks Joe on his ass. No, then... I didn't. I didn't love it, but at least that's something. Something that always drives me crazy. And this episode did it. The damp on the thing you could argue was trying to negate that, but it's something that drives me crazy of all these CW shows, especially this one of Supergirl, is where they tell us something instead of showing it. So in this one, it was like because last season they did that entire thing of the oh, Wally is now the fastest speedster and ever blah 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 now and then Barry... super fast yeah and now Barry's back for two seconds and it's oh Wally oh I've never seen a speedster go faster right it's like now that's the... it's the same as we're on goddamn Supergirl when you have uh, what's his face Jimmy Olsen saying oh Superman says you're, you're a better hero than he is it's like come on shut up if you want to if you want to do it show it for Christ's sake yeah they should have done like a ton of sonic booms and be like, or show that he's going at like 700 mile per hour. My thing is, uh, F Wally, I want to know if he's run faster than light, now is capable of speeds faster than uh, Savitar, um, Reverse Flash or Zoom. But like, oh, he's going faster than uh, the Reverse Flash and Zoom ever did and Savitar. They should have done the White Lightning. And then never revisited it again, like running super fast. Cause I, um, I guess the field bit was kind of cool. Cause there was a moment when one of the like wind turbines came down and like the blade spun and it like just just missed him. I thought that was cool, but yeah. So he does. We have like a three minute sequence of bad CGI rubber Barry running through the fields, and then he kind of runs up a turbine, grabs Iris. And I guess somehow like flicks one of the samurai's blade to destroy his little jetpack thing, and then they crash and then they bring it back and they find out it's a robot, and then Barry's kind of all better now. He does that goofy line, and then they smooch in the field. He's like, "You came back," and he's like, "Always or something." <laughs> I preferred him with the beard. They should have kept him with the beard. So anyway, so they get back to the flat and blah, blah, blah. I couldn't sleep in the bed without you. Now we get to the cool bit. The aft- No. Yeah, then Caitlin has a Killer Frost moment where I guess she's kind of with some bad guys and stuff like that. And then one of the guys gets her and she's like, look, I want out. And then they grips her up and then she turns into Killer Frost and then kind of goes back to normal. And then oh, the the after credits bit, and we get to the cool thing with the with the thinker. That was that was stand out. I thought that was the best part of the episode because I was wondering if they were going to introduce him like properly and stuff like that, uh, and he looked great. 
I like the kind of futuristic thing, and I wonder where he is. Like, we've kind of, yeah, I'd like him to be in the future, but I don't know. No, me either. I just hope there's no mystery. That's going to drive me crazy. We have to deal with that again. Well, is I think he's going to kind of take the role of, like, a puppet master, because, like, he needed him... He must have some sort of future knowledge, because they've got the newspapers up there, and then he brought... He must have known the Flash somehow disappeared, and then they made this thing to bring him back. So... I guess. I wonder if he knows that Barry Allen's the Flash. Well, depends if he is in the future and if he is, how far. Yeah, because, I, I mean, you got to think he's in the future from the newspapers. So, for some reason, he wants the Flash back because he goes through the effort to bring him back. So, like, he, it's hard because he must know that Barry Allen's the Flash. And he must kind of, because, oh, oh, I don't know how to explain it. You well, know, don't worry about it. You know what I mean, because, like, how would he know the, f- right, he knows the Flash is missing because no one's seen him for ages, but how would he know that, like, the Flash is back, so to speak, like, but the Barry Allen flashes back because he knows Wally West. The robot says he knows Wally West isn't the Flash because it's different. <laughs> but like, in, in <laughs> until until the Barry Flash comes along and takes out the robot, he doesn't really. He wouldn't know. <sighs> well, it's only the first episode. They'll address that as they go forward. Mm. Let's talk numbers. Oh, you know, I I think this is just an episode they have to get out of the way. They're, they wrote themselves in. It's sort of they do it every year. They did it the first year as well. I can't even remember the second season finale. But they just write themselves into a corner. They had to set this up and get it out. Of the way. Oh, that was the Flashpoint one, right? Yeah. So every year they do this. They set themselves up with something they can't really wrap up. And so they have them fist their way through it. And then we move on through the season. So... Uh, 6.5 it was you know passable uh we haven't got the full team yet i know harrison wells is going to come back i mm. think there's going to be two of them again so we'll see that i think julian's gone right so there's still some work to be done i don't know if they're going to bring a new love interest in for her so yeah, julian, we'll see but julian weren't even mentioned no yeah, sign he, of him he, no. was, he was they said he moved back to london oh did they yeah Oh, or, or England, I don't know. I was too Is busy. That... I was too busy wishing for stuff to notice that kind of thing. <laughs> Superman. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Long and short of it. Hmm. Um. There are some batty moments, but I mean, the thinker could be good. But I think they're gonna mess it up. Mess I really what? think they're. Go- uh, it's like. Because now I'm thinking, right, they've got they've got the flashback, but, like, what? Does he want the flashback so he can, like, challenge it? Like, a Riddler kind of thing. Like, the Flash has disappeared, now I've got him back, and, like, oh, the only person to ever challenge me was the Flash, so I need to, I need to defeat him. So is he going to be putting him through tests every episode? Is he going to be like uh-huh. the Riddler? That's what I think it's going to be, and then I'm going to think, that's whack. And then I'm thinking, ooh... Because they built another samurai, didn't they? In the thing just before they kind of did the face plates. And now I'm thinking it could be cool if he has an army of robots to fight him. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to see a load of robots. That's going to drive me crazy as well. No, a... I, don't, I don't think they... Did they even... I know he mentioned his mum, but did he even really address the fact that he saw her and this fit into this speed force or, her? No. or anything? That, that was weird. I'll give this episode a 7 because I don't know what to give it because I need to see a second episode because it really didn't move anything forward. Anywhere. No, but it, it, it couldn't move anything forward. That's what I mean, though. Mm. Because of what what they did last year, there's no way to move forward after kind of deal with all that crap. It's the same thing with Arrow. I'm we'll Sam. Get to. I'm Matt. And we'll see you next episode for more The Flash on the Superhero Hub.